phase three in tracking. Let's summarize what uh, we've learned in phase two. Uh, the dog, first of all, so, so three th major things that the dog needs to learn. First and very important, we still want to make sure the dog is happy and it's a very positive exercise. Even if it doesn't go too well as you wish, you still have to keep the positive attitude and uh, know that the dog enjoys this. This is very important. Uh, it, it will be plenty of forcing and uh, uh, making the dog do what they don't want to do later on. But for now, the dog needs to be excited that you're going to do something, it's tracking and it's fun. So that's the first thing. Second thing, in phase two, we started introducing a little bit of a structure. So if you remember in phase one, it was just all fun. We would do the circle anytime during the day or uh, we just, uh, during the play, we would do a circle and the dog would search for food. That was in phase one. In phase two, it is a bit more structure. What I mean by that is that, first of all, I tell the dog that we're going tracking. So the dog learns the uh, marker command for things that we're going to do in the future. So at home, when I'm preparing my bait for the truck and I'm not feeding the dog in the morning, we're skipping the meal because we're going tracking. I'm telling this to the dog. I tell, I say, we're going tracking, so you have to wait with food. We're going tracking and I keep repeating this. Then we go into the car and by the car, I also let the dog in the car and I say, we're going tracking. When I start the car and we start going driving, I'm also saying, we're going tracking. So the dog learns this and then eventually when you get the dog out of the car to actually go tracking, you repeat this again. You, you say you're going tracking, tracking, tracking. So the dog remembers that's the structure. And then also what I started doing, because now it is more uh, set up exercise than just fun random exercise it was, as it was in phase one. So now we also uh, introduce equipment. So I track my dog in a certain color with a certain leash and so he knows if I take this color out with this long leash it's a hundred feet leash for tracking it's also kind of triggering this marker for him he knows oh okay so if we were in this it means we're tracking aside from the fact that I'm saying this and another uh, structure that we add is that this exercise became always in the morning and so now he knows that in the morning when I feed the rest of my crew, I have a cat and an older little dog, and I don't feed him, and I tell him we're going tracking. So he knows exactly he'll eat on the track. Uh, and then another structure is that, uh, and, and the third piece of it, what I started doing in phase two, is that I started tying his meals to the success of the track. So when we do tracking and he did well, I tell him good track, good track, good track and we get to the car and I reward him, I feed him by the car or if we're driving home, uh, when I get home I still say good track, you did a good job tracking, good track and then I give the dog food and so again this kind of connects, ah okay I did something good, now I'm feeding, they feed me though they don't understand yet that it might go away if they don't track, right? But for now I'm just setting it up and that's very important because later on when we go to a little bit advanced tracking and the dog doesn't want to do that, it has to become clear to the dog that unless they track, they don't get to eat, right? And so that's later in the stage. So stage uh, uh, phase two, again, three major things. It has to be happy for the dog. We add a little bit of structure so the dog knows the routine, learns the routine. And third is that the dog starts to connecting his uh, feeding with uh, doing a good job on the track. That's three major important things that the dog learns during phase two. Now, how did we do phase two? If you remember last uh, in the last video, I explained that we set up short tracks, uh, two, three short tracks with uh, little reward circles at the end or in between. And so that's how I started. But you have to learn your dog quickly. I, I learned that my dog figured this, uh, that he has to the truck goes straight pretty quickly and so that was the reason why we started this way because he was on the circles and then I had to teach him to go straight he learned this very quickly so I stopped doing 
short uh, number of short tracks with the rewards in between but I'd, I'd rather start doing uh, tracks that are 30 40 steps uh, long and we have a reward at the end and uh, we did about 20 of those when I realized that my steps that I was doing very close together uh, is no longer enough for the dog so he figured that the truck goes straight I no longer need to connect my steps and now I need rather to put my steps wider and further apart to teach the dog to go from left to right left to right and so that's what we've done kind of uh, in between uh, so probably another 10 15 of those when um, I start making normal steps but they're wider a little bit more apart so pretty much just regular steps just make sure they're not too close together because then the dog goes only on one foot and so oh, I interchange that so sometimes I do regular steps and I see that the dog zigzagging but if I see that uh, sometimes the dog just goes on one uh, tracks only one leg then next time I go again I go closer together and so I want to make sure that the dog kind of learns to weave again and when he did the weaving the next time I'm spreading it again or sometimes you do it in one track you start like this and then you go wider wider so the dog learns to weave and then go from left to right left to right so this pretty much the purpose of phase two to teach the dog to go straight and understand that it has to sniff every step so left to right left to right all the time and so that's kind of the main purpose of this phase uh, per se uh, and so once the dog learns this we are ready to move to phase three so what do we do in phase three what are we trying to teach the dog first the dog needs to learn clearly that unless it does well on the track it does not eat and that's I think very important moving forward because the tracks become more difficult uh, longer and you need to motivate the dog and some dogs are not very food driven so it has to become clear to the dog this is your meal for the morning and unless you find it you don't eat if you find it then you get either additional food depending how much uh, food do you put on the track i don't put too much i have very small little pieces and so it might not be enough for him so if he did well i also feed him either in the car or then at home a little bit but if i see that he's not too uh, interested in track i don't reward it so he, whatever he found uh, he found it but if I see that he's not too enthusiastic to track I don't give him the extra meal and so he goes without food till dinner uh, I normally don't uh, deprive food from my dogs but if I see that the dog is not motivated I simply um, give them smaller portions I don't deprive in general but uh, for example the night before I would feed him only half of the portion and then in the morning we go tracking and I if I see this is not enough then I feed the day before I feed morning half the portion dinner half the portion and then in the morning we go tracking and see if that motivates uh, this dog that I have uh, right now I toss he's uh, a little bit I think I feed him too well I feed him uh, meat and vegetables and so I guess he's not hungry in general so he's not too motivated with food on the track and so I start uh, doing uh, this kind of smaller portions for two days before we track and this seems to help because today in the morning he was obviously asking your dog and make sure that this is phase three is when you try to fine-tune it how you have to work with the dog uh, how you have to set up the dog so the dog does well and successful on the track that's number one number two is that now my tracks are about 100 steps long and they're no longer straight I either do serpentine or I do half circle and what it teaches the dog that the track can run away from you so you need to follow it and so the dog becomes a bit more 
attentive and also later on it helps me start making corners because if the dog knows how to go on a half a circle so eventually you kind of start making them shorter and then sharper and that's how I introduce the circles eventually uh, but we'll get to that it, it's later in the phase for now it just uh, we're moving the truck it's serpentine and it's longer or half circle uh, and it's longer it's about 100 feet lo uh, steps long and if I see that the dog uh, does not take 100 steps well in one truck then the next time I would do 50 uh, so I don't consistently do 100 because you need to give the dog kind of excitement right so they, they don't know when it's going to end and if you see if it's too much for your dog then the next time do half of the uh, length um, to to help the dog also sometimes what I do uh, I still go back to the little circles you can see behind my back here uh, that's uh, my kind of reward patch so uh, you'll see in the video later you'll see my half a circle with with the truck and it was a hundred steps long and he was not too motivated he didn't really do well but I, I'll still show you because uh, I had to correct him um, and then after that I did a little patch and you'll see how well he did on the patch because it's like uh, He remembers that it's a good memory when we start tracking and it's excitement. So you'll see how well he did this um, And so you start introduce corrections a little bit on the track and again You'll see it in in the video next uh, after this uh, when we track I had to correct him because he was rushing and skipping and then I if I pull on him a little bit to let kind of let him slow down and figure out that he's standing on the bait on the treat uh, he would just lie down or he would just wander off or stop tracking so not enough motivation in him uh, and one other thing that I'm going to share is that looks like he, he has enough meat for his meal and I've been tracking for also meat or hot dogs and that hasn't been going well for him and so I've realized that so I, I start changing bait and funnily enough he likes uh, kibble uh, and I realized well it's a lot easier for me than chopping hot dogs and buying them so I bought kibble and you'll see in the patch he has kibble on the track he had meat and so with meat he was not too motivated for some reason so from now on uh, a few times I'll try to find a very large kibble because kibble is usually too small for tracking but I'll try to find larger kibble and from now on I'll try a few sessions and see if he would track much better for kibble but uh, for today's session uh, he had half portions for two days half portions of his meal for two days uh, and uh, uh, I fed him a lot earlier last night than I usually do so he was pretty hungry in the morning like I mentioned he was eager to do that uh, but looks like the bait uh, meat doesn't get him too excited because he gets it for free at home and kibble is something that he never gets and so that got him excited uh, and so from now on what we're focusing in phase three is uh, tolerability the dog needs to tolerate a larger track so we try to push that's our goal if the dog doesn't did well, do well on the lawn we do the short one but still keep coming back to 100 steps maybe 120 steps if your dog does well uh, i'm at 100 step right now uh, second the dog needs to understand corrections on the track because you need to help the dog a little bit and it doesn't mean that the dog needs to quit so I'm introducing very very gentle corrections you'll see how I've done it in the video and the third thing the dog learns that the track no longer stays straight as a line the dog the track can uh, move away to one side to another side and so the dog needs to look for it so those are three major things that I want my dog to learn in this phase three and uh, you'll see how we did today with the uh, hundred step track and with the reward patch at the end happy tracking